Spirit Wrestling 3 live. The Eight following the contest is a championship live. first round match. Making her way to the ring from Denver, Colorado, Denise. We've seen Denise Parkinson victorious last week against Monica Scar. This week she takes on Pran Baragali, and as you heard the ring announcer, this is round one in the championship tournament to crown the women's championship, the very first ever women's champion in undisputed wrestling. This is your host, Danny Jackpot Live. Denise Parkinson, Pran Baragali, one on one. First round for the Women's Championship Tournament, Denise Parkinson's boyfriend, Nick Gemini, later tonight has a championship match against Tyler King, which also involves Marcus Matrix, a triple threat match for the live championship. As Pran Bagali makes her way and down to the ring. from Las Vegas, Nevada, Pamela Bailey. Pran Bagali trade. Now I have to make a mis make a correction. She was trained by Jimmy Nicolo, Vincent's grandpa from the Nicolo Training Grounds. That family trains wrestlers, Pran Bagali being one of them. Vincent Nicolo, who you will see competing against Nate Barron, another one of those men, his grandson of Jimmy Nicolo, who trained Pran Bagali. Round one Undisputed Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament. Let's hear some predictions in the chat, everybody. Don't forget, Undisputed Wrestling's North American Championship will find a number one contender here tonight as Pran Bagali makes her second appearance in Undisputed Wrestling. Her first appearance, she was victorious in a six ladies women's champ, six women's tag team matchup on the very first show. Denise Parkinson, Pran Bagali, round one of the Women's Championship Tournament has officially started. Undisputed Wrestling 3 live. These ladies lock up. The ladies having the show star, the, the, the show here tonight almost. Are we gonna see a clean break between these ladies? And we do. Both these ladies both hold one victory already in Undisputed Wrestling. As I've mentioned, both their wins already in tag team matches. One being makes, one being a six women's tag. Denise Parkinson had the advantage there until Pran Bagali was able to reverse this move. Into a Fujiwara armbar, both ladies back up to their feet after Denise was able to fight it off. Denise with a forearm able to cut off Pran Vera here. Opening round of this Women's Championship Tournament to crown the very first ever Women's Champion in Undisputed Wrestling. We'll have two championship matches here live tonight as we get another clean break. Both these ladies showing a lot of respect for each other in this Honest Feudal Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament first round matchup. Headlocked by Denise Parkinson. Her boyfriend, Nick Gemini, as I mentioned earlier, will have a live championship matchup and a triple threat match. Oh, nice drop kick by Pran Bagali. Pran Bagali now goes for a roundhouse kick, but gets reversed by Denise Parkinson. Nice reversal right there. And a drop kick by Denise, knocks down Pran Vera. And now she's taking those dreads, and with, the, with her hand, just slamming her head against the mat a couple times. Denise Parkinson obviously has the advantage here. Off to the top rope, Denise Parkinson nails a huge elbow drop. And I can tell you one man named Macho Man, Randy Sam, to be proud of that move right there. Denise Parkinson now, big knee to the face, Pran Vera in a bad way against Denise. Denise already has one big win last week. Pran Vera, as I mentioned, has a big win in the first week. Both ladies on a roll. Pran Vera smartly rolls out of the ring, but she wants some of Denise and rolls right back in. Snap here's Denise. Now with a cover after a kick, Pran Vera has Denise down and gets a one count. Women's Championship Tournament here. Very first ever Women's Championship to be crowned here tonight. Denise once again using the dreads of Pran Vera to get an advantage. Nice roundhouse kick of her own, but Primera pops right up, and Denise with a basement drop kick right to the knee, takes Primera right back down. And this is one of Denise's favorite moves, the booty popping moonsault. Nick Gemini's probably watching somewhere, getting a little sweaty. One, two, and Primera kicks out at two. 
Referee telling Denise that you only got two right there. Denise cannot believe it. Only one of these ladies can be victorious as Denise looks to go a swing, I believe. I'm trying to bear, but golly, Denise Parkinson showing some power, showing a little bit of old school wrestling right here with a giant swing. She nails Pranvera Magali with that swing. Magali's gotta be dizzy, so does Parkinson. Denise Parkinson now with that Fujiwar armbar. Fujiwar armbar trying to take, trying to take that shoulder right out of the socket. Denise Parkinson able to fight it off though. What is she doing? I mean, Pranvera Magali able to fight it off. That was amazing. Nice headstand, leg scissors right there. Pranvera Magali now. Tells the fans that she has it against Denise. She got planned here, big forearm. Maybe she does got the momentum going her way. Pranvera Magali, two big forearms now. And a big spine buster. Pranvera Magali lays Denise Parkinson out. Denise Parkinson smartly gets to a corner, gets to the ropes. But Pranvera Magali stays on the offense now. And she is just choking the life out of Denise Parkinson in the corner. And then jumps up and nails some kind of springboard drop kick. Denise, Denise Parkinson is in a bad way. Pranvera Magali has a really. Oh, as soon as I say that, Denise able to cut her off with a shot to the midsection. Grabs her once again by the braids. I've mentioned the braids have came into a big factor in this matchup. And Denise once again on that Fujiwara armbar. If I am correct, this is the third time in this matchup I've seen this Fujiwara armbar apply. And Denise Parkinson somehow gets, somehow let the exact same reversal happen to her again, that headstand reversal. Maybe she was, maybe she was trying to suck her in, but it's not gonna happen. And, and Alexander, and Grandeur Marie knocks down Denise Parkinson. Big move, close for the cover. One, two, only gets two. Grandeur Magali almost wins this matchup. Using a lot of headstand offense right now. Shocking Denise Parkinson. I don't believe she was expecting any kind of headstand offense. Who does? Oh! Throws her up in the air! And throws her with the roundhouse kick! For Amber Magali with a cover on Denise Parkinson! But Denise gets her shoulder up in a very deep two. I thought for sure that was it! A jumping roundhouse kick! We see Pranvera Magali trying to go for it one time earlier. Doesn't nail it!
Women's Championship Round 1 matches as Denise Partison comes up victorious tonight. Match 2 of Round 1 in the Women's Championship Honest Beard Wrestling The following contest is a championship start. first round match. Making her way to the ring from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Speedy Teddy. Spring Tigress, who is not victorious, a member of the Wicked Syndicate along with Lilith. Some would say that she is Lilith's pet. Lilith not here tonight, letting her pet do all the work she says because she doesn't need to be here for her pet. Lilith has faith in her pet. Round one matchup, as you as, as an announcer already mentioned. Monica Scar was also not victorious in her debut as she teamed up with Cage and in a losing effort to Nick Gemini. New York, Parkinson. Montana Sawyer. Monica Scar also a skater in her spare time. Some, I, I believe, I, I've never asked her because it's an awkward conversation, but some say that's where she got the scars on her face was from a bad skateboarding accident from when she was a teenager. And I believe the chat caught on to exactly what the pet thing's all about. I'm going to leave it at that. She is her pet. Monica Scar. Proudly making her second appearance here in Undisputed Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament. Now, if I was Monica, I would wear the helmet during the match. You know, extra protection, but I'm pretty sure Undisputed Wrestling officials would not allow that. Twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW. If you're not watching live on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, you don't know what you're missing. The match two of the round one is just officially sparse started in Spring Tigers. The powerhouse. Right away. I, I, Fireman's carrying to a Michinoku driver, and she is immediately going for Monica Scar. Spring Tigers, I would try to get comments from her earlier, but it's hard to get comments from a lady who wears a mask and doesn't seem to really talk to me much. But she definitely has the offense here, and the offense is in her favor. Spring Tigers, two big moves, going for a third one, vertical suplex. Jackhammer just showing her power against Monica Scar here in the opening round of this tournament. Monica Scar able to reverse, and a spine buster sit out. All these ladies looking for impact here in the first round. Both ladies rolling to the outside of the ring. Now they're rolling right back in. It's almost like a, it's almost like a cat chase between these two women. And a Samoan drop by Spring Tiger. She was able to catch Monica Scar coming back in. And a standing shooting star press. Impressive by Spring Tigress. Power and athleticism by Spring Tigress. Samoan drop once again. Monica Scar looking in a very bad way right now here. And if Spring Tigress could win her match quickly, that would be a big, big, big advantage to her against her, against Denise Parkinson, because whoever wins this matchup will be taking on Denise Parkinson. Monica Scar able to sweep the leg of Spring Tigress, and then grabbing the mask and just shoving her head right down to the ring mat, and that's got to hurt. That could concuss somebody. Spring Tigress now with a big elbow drop. I'm mean, getting nailed with a big elbow drop by Monica Scar. And all of this getting bitch slapped. Now Monica Scar with that cover and only gets one. And then all that does is wake up Spring Tigress. But instead, Monica Scar nails a big kick to the spine. And once again, nailed that sit out spine buster. The swallow of the back seems to be Monica Scar's offense here. And that's a very smart offense for a lady who has a lot of power, like Spring Tigress does. Spring Tigress going for some kind of spear. But Monica Scar catches the arm, nails an arm ringer, and then an elbow right to the arm, running leg scissors now. Monica Scar has Spring Tigers down. And all oh, goes for a basement drop kick with Spring Tigers from the way. Running Hurricane Rana right there by Spring Tigers. Has Monica Scar down. And I would even say it's Monica Scar has maybe had about 30% of the offense. Compared to Spring Tigers, who's had about 70% of the offense in this match so far. Spring Tigers nails a stomp to the face. What's she going for here? Shining Wizard! Shining Wizard right there on Monica Scar! Spring 
Tigers now picking up on his car. What does he have planned for her? Oh, goes for some kind of some kind of like whiplash maneuver, but Monica Scar nails the forearm. Now nails the knee to the face. Monica Scar has to bring Tigers down, picks her right back up. And Monica Scar must have something planned up ready to go suplex. I don't know how smart it is to pick your opponent up once you have him down. But Monica Scar proved me wrong right there. She has free tires in a bad way. Spring tires having to use the ropes to get up. And Monica Scar knocks her right back down. And now just choking the life out of Spring Tires. And I don't know, maybe some women like that. Spring Tires might be one of those women. It's Spring Tires now. Oh! Trying to smoke with some kind of wheelbarrow. Look at Snail with a big wheelbarrow German suplex by Monica Scar. This could be it. One. Monica Scar now, going for some kind of move here, some kind of pump handle on Spring Tiger. Spring Tigress nails a pump handle overhead suplex. Monica Scar pulls her away from the ropes, could be going for a cover here. Monica Scar could be very well be going on to the next round against the East Pirates, and it does. Monica Scar victorious here tonight against Spring Tigress. And Monica Scar. I would say pulls off a little bit of an upset. Everyone thought Spring Tires would be the victorious one here tonight. As you see that big giant slap right to Spring Tires. And Spring Tires trying to reverse whatever Monica Scar had planned. Probably a German, but it doesn't work out as she nails a wheelbarrow German suplex instead. Kicks out Monica Scar, nails an overhead pump handle suplex. Gets the three count here, as you see in the replays. Monica Scar will take on Denise Mortensen. Sawyer. Monica Scar, as I mentioned, will take on Denise Parkinson in the next round. Almost a rematch of last week on his Peter Wrestling 3. Monica Scar victorious here. Round 1 Women's Championship Tournament. She's only two matches away from being the very first ever Women's Champion in Honest Peter Wrestling. Round one of the Women's Championship continues in Honest Peter Wrestling at Honest Peter Wrestling 3 is Alexander Marie. Mix the following down contest three. is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Alexia Marie. These two ladies, Alexander Marie, Gail Anderson, have been feuding with a war of words on Twitter with each other. These two ladies believe that they are gonna win this women's championship tournament and they both strongly believe that they are the number one lady here in the women's division in Honest Peter Wrestling. Alexander Marie, Gail Anderson both requested a, their, their opponent be each other in round one of this women's championship tournament and they've gotten their request. As Gail Anderson makes her way down the ring, Gail Anderson was victorious in a fatal four-way, which also involved Sasha Blackrose, which also involved Alexander Marie, and which also involved... And from Rutherford, New Jersey, The X Factor. As I was about to mention, Gail Anderson winning the only fatal four-way match so far in Honest Peter Wrestling that involved the women. Actually, the only fatal four-way match so far in Honest Peter Wrestling's history. Gail Anderson victorious. Both these women, a war of wars on Twitter. She comes from the Messiah Dungeon. The Monster Dungeon does Gail Anderson. Her brother is the North American champion. That is Monster Messiah, Robert Master Monaco. Gail Anderson says she'll become the very first ever women's champion because it runs in the family. War of Words on Twitter, finally taken off the internet, being put in the ring. The bell has rung. Alexander Marie in the yellow. Gail Anderson wearing the red and black. Maybe someone called that orange. I don't know what Alexander Marie calls that color. Alexander Marie with a hammerlock right now, slapping the back of the head, and then going for a discus elbow right away. Gail Anderson able to reverse. Both these ladies 
I do not expect a clean break between these two women right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. And wow. We get it, but then look at the fight. Look at the fight. Look at the fight between these two women right here. Maybe a show of respect right there between these two women. I'll fight you, but I won't do it dirty. Judo tossed by Gail Anderson on Alexander Marine. Finals match for it in round one. That is absolutely correct. Same thing with Tammy and Sasha, Sasha Black Rose in the very first round. Very next matchup. Gail Anderson goes for a cover. Definitely not enough against Alexandra Marie. Alexandra Marie dropped toe hold on Gail Anderson now. And now going by the hair. Whipping Gail Anderson down. Discus elbow this time. Nailing it. Alexandra Marie. I wasn't lying when she said she was getting tattoos last week. You can see her rocking a very new tattoo. Two new tattoos, a rose on her stomach, a sunflower on her shoulder. Gail Anderson with a nice jab right there. And then just using wrestling 101, double wrestling overhead takedown right there. And sometimes you just need to use a, a good wrist, a, a good shot to the head to reverse it. Now a big clothesline, Alexander Marie has Gail Anderson down. Big leg drop by Alexandra Marie. And she's got some weight on those thighs. That's gonna hurt. Once again, nailing it. Gail Anderson's in a bad way here. Alexandra Marie now running bulldog on Gail Anderson, but Gail Anderson gets wrapped to her feet. Gail Anderson now! Oh my god, with that huge quirky back suplex and Alexandra Marie! This very well could be it! And Alexandra Marie somehow gets a shoulder up at one. Alexandra Marie now fighting up to her feet, but Gail Anderson knocks her right back down. And a big kick right to the midsection. That one had to hurt. That could very well break a rib. Judo tossed by Gail Anderson once again. And then right to the arm with an elbow drop. Alexandra Marie now knocks down Gail Anderson. Oh, but Gail Anderson gets up to her feet with a roundhouse kick of her own. These two ladies definitely having the matchup they said they would when they got in the ring. These two ladies definitely showing the spies for each other tonight. Gail Anderson with a cover once again. Only gets one once again. Alexandra Marie refusing to stay down. Both these women refusing to stay down against each other here. Both women back up to their feet once again. Gail Anderson. Big slam. Gail Anderson now picking up Alexander Murray after that big slam. Slams her once again. No! Oh my god! Alexander Murray tried her first, but she gets nailed with a rolling cutter. She gets nailed with a rolling cutter. And Alexander Murray somehow gets a shoulder up at two. Gail Anderson can't believe it. Alexander Murray is in a bad way right now. Gail Anderson off the ropes. Picks her up. What she got planned here? Oh my god, it's just marching around the ring with Alexander Marie and slaps her right down! Slaps her right down! Gail Anderson! Hurricane Rona now! Fans can't believe what they just seen Alexander Marie fighting to get to a corner and she does. And now uh, Gail Anderson just stomping away at Alexander Marie. This has gotten very personal before these two even got the ring ever. Once again, big sterns kick right to the midsection, almost right to the tattoo that Alexander Marie has recently gotten since the last show. Big, big suplex right there. Gail Anderson definitely has Alexander Marie in a bad way. Oh, as soon as I say that though, Alexander Marie, the big kick to the midsection. Big leg scissors now, Alexander Marie up to her feet. Team champions right after this when Sasha Black Rose and Tammy, Tammy of XGWL fame. Oh my god, referee is taken down, referee in the way of Alexander Marie. And Alexander Marie does not care. Referee getting back up. Alexander Marie, big T bone suplex. Referee's back up to his feet. Gail Anderson in a bad way here. Wait a second. Alexander Marie with a pump handle over at suplex of her own now. Almost a version of the Anderson driver. Alexander Marie now jumping crossbody off the top rope. 
will she be the very first ever Undisputed Wrestling Divas Champion? Or Women's Champion, I should say. Got to correct myself here. Both these ladies got to be getting tired, but Alexander Marie going for some kind of leg scissors. Gail Anderson finding herself out of it, though. And even though these ladies are tired, they're still fighting. Gut wrench power bomb by Gail Anderson. Gail Anderson now believes she has this match where she wants, where she wants it. Big clothesline, big clothesline. Alexander Marie popping right back up, but going right back down with three huge clotheslines. She's down, referee two, and Alexander Marie somehow kicks out at two. Gail Anderson cannot believe it. This women's championship for round one matchup is amazing. STO by Gail Anderson. Knocks down Alexander Marie. This very well could be it, but once again, Marie kicks out at two. Oh my God, what a match. What a match here. Gail Anderson telling Marie to get up. And a huge super kick. A huge super kick. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Gail Anderson, no. And she is now telling the referee, come on, count the three. Come on, count the three. Marie kicks out at two. Gail Anderson, top row, going for a splash. Nails it out the top row. I don't know how much more Marie can have left. Gail Anderson now just staring down at a fall of Marie. And she decides to once again go to the top row. This is on by Gail Anderson. Oh, a huge knee to the face. Tammy holds her down for a 
double knee. That was very nice by Tammy. And Sasha Blackgirl is maybe believing she needs an advantage over Tammy. These two ladies used to be a tag team called Women at Power in Rising Star Wrestling. And now these two ladies feuding here, round one of the United Honest Food and Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament. And both these ladies on the outside of the ring now. This match right back to where it started on the outside of the ring. And I can't believe Sasha Black rolls. And I can't believe the referee started the match. He has to. It's a tournament match. Sasha Black Rose, if she wins, if she could she be going for some kind of count out victory. She knows that she, she could have three matches very well here tonight. Five. Sasha Black Rose, Tammy. Some say these women are very similar in their attitudes. I would definitely agree with that one. Both these women would probably take a count out victory and not be ashamed of it. Tammy tosses Sasha Black Girls right back in the ring though. Both these women are now back in the ring. Sasha down, Tammy going on the offense here. And I can't believe what we just seen at the beginning of this matchup. And Sasha Black Girls definitely paying for it now. Tammy is definitely on the offense here. Tammy now, big drop kick. Sasha Black Girls goes crashing down. And Tammy says, kiss her, you know what? Derriere. Two. Tammy now. Leg scissors on the outside, and that has to Three. hurt both ladies. But Tammy, I think, doesn't care after the pre match assault by Sasha or the attempted pre match assault. Well, she got it in. Four. And right into the steel steps, Tammy went, and that had to hurt. Five. Tammy, though, fighting back against. Sasha Black Rose, this Six. is a round one matchup in the Women's Championship Tournament. Tammy back in the ring, Sasha's on the outside here. If the referee's count gets to 10, wait a second, Tammy goes right on the outside. She's seen Sasha was getting up. Sasha though able to catch that arm into a hammerlock suplex. Though Tammy bounces right back up and nails a German of her own. And now Sasha bounces right back up and gets right back in the ring. And these two ladies showing their resiliency here. Oh, and a tiger suplex by Tammy now. That full Nelson right into a tiger suplex. Sasha Black Rose got to be in a back way, bad way. No, she'll reverse the double axe handle. And nails, and nails a, a little tornado DDT of hers. Sasha Black Rose now. Overhead T-bone suplex. Sasha Black Rose looking pretty good here. And she should. She assaulted Tammy during her entrance. And right back to the outside now. Both these ladies are. And that wasn't in Sasha's will. I believe that was at Tammy's. Tammy's will there. Sasha able to reverse a kick though into a leg whip. Sasha Black Rose. I don't know what she was going for there with Tammy on the reverse. Big kick right to the right to the neck there. And this match is mostly being contested on the outside of the ring. And I think that's what Sasha Black Rose wanted, and that's what Sasha Black Rose is getting. If it's up if it's up to her or not, that's exactly what she's getting here. Both these ladies back in the ring. Sasha getting picked up by Tammy. Tammy now, big scoop slam. Tammy has Sasha in a bad way. Oh, and I'm just trying to pull that arm out of the socket. Rotating Tammy's whole arm around this. And then just jamming it up right into the ring mat. Tammy. And I can't blame Tammy here. Tammy now going for some kind of kick. But Sasha reverses into a leg with her own now. Sasha now picking up Tammy. Sasha Black Rose, big shot to the face. Big shot to the back, and picks her up. Oh my God! Oh, a cobra clutch slam! A cobra clutch slam by Sasha Black Rose, and, ta and, ta and Tammy almost is down for the three, but gets her shoulder up, barely in the nick of time. But Sasha Black Rose, taunting now, knows the big move she nails Tammy with. Sasha now with a big shot, knocks Tammy right back down the ring mat. Picking her right back up again. And now there with another clothesline. And a third clothesline. And a big, big kick now with the heel of her ankle. Sasha Black Rose 
is definitely, definitely has Tammy really in here in the first round. And oh, a T-bone suplex. And Tammy was shaking, almost in convulsion right there. Sasha now with the cover. One, two, and only gets two. Tammy somehow gets her shoulder up. Tammy still has fight left in her. Tammy goes for some kind of move. Sasha reverses. Sasha goes for some kind of move. Tammy reverses. Tammy goes for some kind of move. And Sasha reverses. Iron trip by Sasha. Kick to the midsection. Picking her up to the top rope. But I don't know what Sasha's going for here. This is the first time I've seen the woman going to that top rope here tonight. Sasha Black Rose goes for some kind of huge maneuver here. Looks like a superplex. Oh my god, and nails a superplex on a Tammy. And nails a huge superplex on a Tammy. Tammy could very well be broken in half. Sasha Black Rose now snapping her and Tammy down to the ring man. They're picking her up. Sasha Black Rose definitely has Tammy in a bad way. As soon as I say that, Tammy tosses her right over the top rope with a huge clothesline. Tammy fighting right back. Brawly doing whatever she needs to. Both these ladies doing whatever they can to win this round one matchup. Sasha really doing whatever she can. She proved it earlier. She wants to be women's champion here in Honest Peter Wrestling. And you can't take that away from her. Huge shot to the back once again. Sasha Black Rose. Oh my God, that Cobra Clutch Slam. Cobra Clutch Slam. Black Rose could very well be moving on to round two. And she is. It takes a pre match assault to end Tammy. But Sasha Black Rose is victorious here in round one. Sasha Black Rose, as you can see, has Tammy down in the replays. After a huge Cobra Clutch Slam the first time wasn't enough. This huge exploding T-Bone Suplex wasn't enough. But the Cobra Clutch Slam a second time was Here able to finish winner, off Tammy. Sarah Babos. And Sasha Black Rose is officially moving on to round two here in the Honest Food Wrestling Women's Championship Tournament. And I don't know if Tammy has anything to be ashamed of. It took a pre-match assault by Sasha to really finish it off. And we don't know what would have happened if these ladies would have really matched up one-on-one -on -one in mono e mono or a woman on a woman on all. Sasha Black Girls, Gail Anderson, round two. Honest Food Wrestling three singles match here between Vincent Nicolo and Nate Farron. Vincent Nicolo victorious the against Nick Cognito. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing in at 295 pounds, Vincent Nicolo. As I mentioned, Vincent, Vincent Nicolo defeated Incognito in his Honest Peter Wrestling debut last week. Nate Barron, we seen in his very first match get cheated against Marcus Matrix in his second matchup for the live championship and a very hard fought effort was on victorious against Tyler King. Nate Barron trying to get back on the winning way here at Undisputed Wrestling as Vincent Nicolo looks to continue his winning ways here in Undisputed Wrestling. And I know Vincent can't be too proud of Pranvera Bagali who was on victorious in the women's championship tournament coming from their grandfather or going from his grandfather Jimmy Nicolo's training camp of wrestling wrestling school training camp wrestling school whatever you like to call it as here comes a former wrestling heaven wrestling heaven world champion also a former NAEW world heavyweight champion he is the genuine is ass kicker he is New Nate Barron Weighing in at 300 pounds, Nate Fenwick. The genuine ass kicker, Nate Farron here. He has said he has had enough of his losing ways. And Vince Nicolo is just a man, a piece of meat, that he doesn't care who it is. He is just going to be on his winning ways back tonight. And Nate Farron, who just recently was a world heavyweight champion in another organization. Nate Barron has not had much winning ways here in Undisputed Wrestling, has yet to come up with a win. Tonight, he says, gonna be a lot different. As Nate Barron seems to be a house of fire right now. And both these men, 
big men, one bigger widely, one bigger heightly. That's the best way I can say it. Six foot nine, Nate Farron. 300 pound Vincent Nicolo, Nicolo. Match begins. Match officially underway on the speed of wrestling. Nate Farron, Vincent Nicolo. Irish whip by both men. Back body drop by Nate Farron. Nate Farron getting the better of these both men in the beginning part of this contest. And oh, using his power as Nate Farron. And he says the genuine ass kicker is going to be shown here tonight. Nate Farron now. Oh my God. Nate Farron with some kind of submission right here. And Vincent Nicolo has to fight out of it. And that was very smart because that had to hurt. Nate Farron goes for some kind of clothesline. Vincent Ducks nails an STO. Vincent Nicolo victorious against Incognito last week, as I've already mentioned a couple times. A win over Nate Farron would be a lot more than a win over Incognito, I can tell you that. Not, not to take anything away from Incognito. Samoan drop by. By Vincent Nicolo on to Nate Farron. And a big kick now by Vincent Nicolo. Knocks down Nate Farron. The 6'9 Nate Farron only gets kicked in the chest with that kick. Don't think Vincent can lift his leg up that high to kick someone in the face that, face that tall. Vincent now. Irish whip. What's Vincent got planned here? Vincent. And I've actually was told that Nate Farron requested this matchup and Vincent accepted. So this is actually a little bit of a challenge match right now. Nate Farron put the challenge out to Vincent and Vincent accepted. Nate Farron has this match in his way right now. Vincent against the ropes. Nate Farron picking him up. What's he got planned here? Nate Farron now got Vincent in a bad way here. Got him in some kind of fireman's carry position. On a second rope. Oh my God, spins out of it with a spinning set top on the second rope. Nate Farron now, all six foot nine. And Nate Farron going to the top rope. Vincent's down, going for an elbow and nails it. Nate Farron, covered now by Farron. This very well could be it. And Vincent somehow kicks out at two. Nate Farron can't believe it. And Nate Farron now with a knee to the mid section and just kicking. Vincent down the ring mat. Vincent rolling out to the ring. Out to the ring apron. Staying on the ring apron. Nate Farron though. Oh! Just clubbing the chest of Vincent over and over and over again. Oh my god! And Vincent's chest just right, right after that. Oh my god! Vincent just falling down to the ring mat now. That had to hurt. Nate Farron has this match under control. Nate Farron shot to the liver. Oh, and then tosses Vincent right, right into the ring steps, the steel ring steps at ringside. Oh, and Nate Farron tosses it down. Nate Farron taunting the genuine ass kicker, Nate Farron. Genuinely kicking ass right now. And then Vincent able to somehow reversed it, and Nate Farron back in the ring. Vincent now with a huge cross face. And I'm not gonna tell you who this shades of, but but this huge cross face ripping away at Nate Farron, ripping away at Nate Farron right now. And now just, oh my God, a huge backbreaker. Vincent has Nate Farron in a bad way. And some would call this an upset at Vincent can somehow win this matchup against a former World Heavyweight Champion. Vincent's a former champion in his promotion also that he wrestled for for his grandpa. Snake eyes by Nate, by Nate Barron. And then a big full Nelson slam. Nate Barron now. Nate Barron. Oh my God, a variation of a tombstone right there. Nate Barron now. Cover. This very well could be it. Vincent's down, but Vincent kicks out at two. Both these men fighting on his Spirit Wrestling 3. Vincent with a Michinoku driver on the Nate Farron. Hell of a contest here. Vincent now going for an Irish whip like it's reversed. Nate Farron able to reverse the Irish whip. Whipping Vincent right into the turnbuckle. Big slap, big shot now by Farron. Farron put out the Nate to Vincent. 
I'm proud, proud of the challenge to Vincent. And Farron now, oh, big shot to the midsection. And Farron now with a knee just choking out the life. Vincent now, oh, with these huge shots to the, huge shots to the midsection. I, I'm Farron with these huge shots to the midsection. And Vincent smartly rolls out of the ring. Nate Farron tosses Vincent right back in the ring though. Nate Farron believes he has Vincent in a bad way. Telling Vincent to get up. Nate Farron can be looking for one of his finishing maneuvers. Nate Farron likes to utilize this choke slam. Nate Farron going for the choke slam. Nails Vincent and that was a whole lot of impact. Nate Farron with the choke slam. Nate Farron with the choke slam. Distraction. What's going on here? Some kind of distraction in Nate Farron. Wait a second. What happened? Some kind of distraction in Nate Farron. Vincent Nicole. Vincent Nicole utilizing it as a distraction. What was that? Oh my god, elevated DDT. What the hell just happened? Some kind of distraction. Did Vincent Nicolo have some kind of distraction? After the choke slam. After the choke slam by by, by Farron. Some kind of giant boom hit. And all oh, a stunner by by Vincent Nicolo on the Farron. One, two. The distraction pays off. Not like this. Vincent Nicolo wins with the distraction. And only time can tell what the hell was that. Only time can tell what the hell was that distraction. Did Vincent have it planned? Nate Farron hit the choke slam right here. And I thought very well this was it. The here whole lot of impact. Winner, but no, Nicole. no a distraction, some kind of. Championship Tournament on a speed of wrestling the contest the very first ever is champion. scheduled for one fall. And Denise Parkinson making her way down the ring. And wait a second, Monica Scar. I think she just took something, something took the, took the Sasha Black Girls playbook because Monica Scar is now getting an early advantage here on this matchup. And Denise Parkinson and Monica Scar had a matchup last week in a mixed tag team matchup, and she went, Monica Scar was not victorious. Maybe she remembers that. This match hasn't even officially started yet. Two times here tonight, these women are out of control. These women are out of control. The round two has officially started. Not once, but twice here tonight. Now we've seen this. Monica Scar has Denise Parkinson in a bad way thanks to a pre-match assault going on the second rope. And don't forget, both these women have already competed once here earlier tonight. Gotta be a little tired. Both these women know each other very well, competed each other last week also. Competed in round two of the Women's Championship Tournament. One of these women very well could be the very first ever Women's Champion. Denise Parkinson looking for that booty pop and moonsault right away, one of her finishing maneuvers. Or one of her favorite maneuvers, I need to say, not finishing, but one of her favorite maneuvers. Denise Parkinson now has the offense in this. 
And I can't believe these ladies are getting out of control here in this matchup. Leg sweep by Monica Scar. Knocks down Denise Parkinson after a nice reversal. And then grabbing her by the hair. These ladies getting a little personal with each other. Nice suplex right there by Monica Scar. Monica Scar now once again going to the second rope. Once again looking for a splash. Nailing it on Denise Parkinson. The skater taking on the anime lover. Fireman's carry kind of like maneuver right there by Monica Scar. Hammer lock now by Monica Scar. Denise Parkinson with a back elbow able to reverse. Denise Parkinson now. Oh, what an impactful neck breaker on a Monica Scar. This very well could be it. Monica Scar is down. And Denise Parkinson is moving on to the finals. And maybe Monica Scar was hurt in her first matchup where she needed to do this assault. Either way, Denise Parkinson has just earned herself a shot to the finals. Huge neckbreaker right there takes down Monica Scar. Here is your winner, Denise. And just like that, Denise Parkinson is moving on to the finals of the Women's Championship Tournament. She very well could be the very first ever Women's Champion on the Speed of Wrestling. Denise Parkinson able to overcome a pre-match assault here against Monica Scar. And she has to watch her boyfriend, Nick Gemini. She has that to look forward to competing against the Live Championship. It very well could be their night. The second semifinals match on Disputed Wrestling's first ever Women's Championship tournament here. And Gail Anderson making her way down the ring. Had a hell of a contest. contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Rutherford, New Jersey, the X Factor. Gail Anderson, everybody. As I mentioned, from the Monster Camp, her brother, Monster Messiah Robert Master Monaco, is the North American champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. Gail Anderson is two matches away from, be, from, from saying what she says is true and runs in the family of becoming the very first ever women's champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. And wouldn't that be great for the Monster Camp? Gail Anderson was victorious against Alexandra Marie. The war of words, I like to call it, as they as they competed on Twitter, had a lot to say with each other, Gail Anderson and, and Alexandra Marie. From New York, Sarah Babos. And we've seen Sasha Black Rose will do whatever it takes to win the Women's Championship here tonight as she assaulted Tammy during her entrance. A pre-match assault against Tammy which gave Sasha Black Rose the upper hand almost the entire match against Tammy and gave her the win in the first round. Sasha Black Rose now here tonight in round two. One, one match away from the finals. The winner of this matchup will take on Denise Parkinson for the Women's Championship and Honest Peter Wrestling will crown the very first ever Women's Champion with that matchup. But we have to see who will take on Denise right here. Right now, Gail Anderson, Sasha Blackrose, one-on-one, -on -one, second semifinal. The match is underway. And Gail Anderson, huge impact right off the right off the bat. Gail Anderson, Sasha down. And don't forget, these ladies have already competed in a match earlier tonight. Gail Anderson nailed big impact right away, and it wasn't enough. And Sasha Blackrose right in her face saying, you think that's all you got? You think that's all you got? And Gail Anderson knocks him right back down. Anderson now with two big clotheslines. Sasha Blackrose has not been able to get in this matchup. Gail Anderson with another clothesline knocks Sasha Blackrose down for a third time. Gail Anderson now. What's she going to here? The top rope. Gail Anderson. Oh, goes for that bombs away knee drop. We seen her go for it earlier tonight. And it was and she nailed it this time. She doesn't. Sasha Blackrose goes for some kind of move, but Gail Anderson able to reverse once again. Gail Anderson now suplex on Sasha Blackrose. And Blackrose smartly rolling to the outside of the ring, using the ropes to get up on the apron. 
And Gail Anderson, though, oh, just pulls her right back in. Gail Anderson's a house of fire right now. Gail Anderson now, going for the Anderson driver on Sasha Black Rose here. Nails it, Anderson driver, Black Rose down. And Anderson's going to the finals. Anderson makes quick, Rose, quick work of Sasha Black, Black Rose. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gail Anderson just dominated her second round match, just like Denise Parkinson, the Anderson driver. Here is your winner, the X Factor. Gail Anderson, Denise Parkinson, finals, women's championship tournament. Gail Anderson victorious in two matches. She's one match away from becoming the very first ever honest Undisputed Wrestling 3 live championship matchup. Tyler King, Nick Gemini, Marcus Matrix. And Nick Gemini very well could be looking at two championships for his home tonight. With the women's championship could be his girlfriend's. And the live championship very well could be his. The MILF Hunter, the Space Cowboy, Nick Gemini. As Nick Gemini, always in a very overly characteristic mood. Nick Gemini, gonna take on Marcus Matrix here and Tyler King. Nick Gemini, Marcus Matrix has actually had a feud going on before Honest Peter Wrestling. So these men have history with each other. The last time I actually remember Marcus Matrix and Nick Gemini being in the same ring is that they fought to a double count out all the way to the back. That's how much these men brawled. Nick Gemini showing off a little bit of dance moves here tonight. Nick Gemini, live championship match. Huge opportunity for Nick Gemini. Victorious against Cage and Monica Scar with his the girlfriend Denise Parkinson last week in a mixed tag team match. As here comes Marcus Matrix making his way down to the ring. And is he... Does he have a fuzzy selfie stick? This man is rocking a fuzzy selfie stick. And that can only describe the kind of man that Marcus Matrix is. Marcus Matrix on victorious against Egyptico along with his partner Dale Von Deuce last week in the Honest Beauty Tag Team Championship match. Marcus Matrix getting a huge opportunity to bounce back. Marcus Matrix, some say one of the hottest rising stars in CAW. A lot of predictions by the fans have gone to Marcus Matrix here tonight, which has got to upset Tyler King and Nick Gemini because they are two veterans in the sport. Heck, Tyler King is undefeated in undisputed wrestling. Why would he think that? Why would he think the fans think that Marcus Matrix is going to beat him tonight? That's a good question. And Matrix doesn't even like the fans. Matrix just has a lot. Of, he, he just has the confidence. He, he, is, he has been victorious in a lot of singles matches. Marcus Matrix is a rising star. His stock is on the rise and very well could become the live champion here tonight in Honest Peter Wrestling. Cocky as all hell is Marcus Matrix and some say he has all right to be. And I, I just still am shocked what happened earlier with Nate Farron getting screwed over in his match with Vincent Nicolo with that distraction. As our live champion makes his way down the ring, Tyler King, 4-0 in Undisputed Wrestling. Victorious against Nate Farron last week, a man I just mentioned. Tyler King, big hard fought contest. Live champion, Tyler King. Not the internet champion, as that says. The live champion, Tyler King. Tyler King won an eight-man tournament to become the live champion. A match that we're gonna see, or uh, uh, something that we're about to see, Denise Parkinson and Alexander Marie have the opportunity to do. I mean, I mean, Gail Anderson and and Denise Parkinson have the opportunity to do, become the first ever women's champion after an eight women's championship, just like this man Tyler King did in the very first ever show 
the man now on the third show, still the live champion, a championship that's defended on every single live show in Undisputed Wrestling. Tyler King, the very first ever live champion, says that tonight he still will be the only live champion in Undisputed Wrestling history. Nick Gemini, Marcus Matrix, Tyler King, a man who took a year absence from CAW, a couple year absence from CAW. Tyler King did. Now, once again, the live champion in CAW. Once again, champion in CAW. Nick Gemini, the smallest man in this matchup, but some would say he doesn't have to worry about it too much. Tyler King, Marcus Matrix, not much bigger than him. Tyler King has the offense at the beginning of this contest going his way against both men. Tyler King, a former World Heavyweight Champion at New Noon AW, a former WEDF NXT Tag Team Champion. Nick Gemini's a championship, has, has won many championships with NCWL. Marcus Matrix is a former three-time New AW Eastern Tag Team Champion. Tied for most reigns in that company. Along with Dale Von Deuce and Steven Raiden and Juliana. Nice spin kick by Marcus Matrix. Triple threat match here. Live championship. First ball to a finish. This is not an elimination style match. Nice, nice move by Matrix. Knocks down Gemini. Uh, all I know is if there's a smoke circle anywhere after this show, I'm going to be there, everybody. You got to be in the chat on twitch.tv slash CAW if you want to be here live with all the fans. I'll go on with the chat. Know what's happening live. Catch this event while it's happening live. Twitch.tv slash CAW. This is where you should be if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching right now, then I thank you all for being here. Live on Twitch. And thank you for watching on YouTube. Marcus Matrix, Tyler King, both working over Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini able to find his way out of it though. Picks up Matrix. What's he got planned for Matrix here? Really has Matrix just in a bad way here. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a move by Gemini. What a move by Nick Gemini on the Marcus Matrix. And I'm surprised Matrix next is broken right there. And Tyler King letting both men fight. And now, oh, wait a second. Tyler King with a double team maneuver with Marcus Matrix onto Gemini. Matrix able to reverse the move there. And Matrix able to reverse the cover there. Break up the cover there. Botches all over my commentary. Oh, rewind Wana by Nick Gemini. Marcus Matrix trying to pick up the results though. Only gets two. Tyler King breaks it up. Live championship triple threat match. Tyler King, Russian legs, people on the Marcus Matrix. The first of two championship matches here tonight. Oh my God, what a move by Nick Gemini. Oh my God, if I can, if, this, if all these men were on their feet right now, I'd want a replay of that, but we cannot afford to miss the action here in this triple threat matchup, because you never know when a fall could happen. Nice hurricane run by Nick Gemini on the Marcus Matrix. Tyler King now. Trying to work over both men. Jim and I with a DDT on the Matrix. Tyler King now with a cover on the Matrix. After that DDT, Jim and I, of course, not letting it happen. Jim and I with a big kick to the leg. Jim and I goes to the schoolboy. No, nails a kick to the back of Tyler King's head instead. Jim and I now, cover on a King. Oh, and I get some one count. King able to reverse. Took too much time, I believe. And Marcus Matrix trying to Use his power against Gemini. Gemini using his quickness. It will reverse and nail the jawbreaker on a Marcus Matrix. As, as I mentioned before, a lot of predictions by the fans for Marcus Matrix here tonight. Marcus Matrix working with the armor Tyler King. And then a nice discus elbow. Wait a second. Oh my god! Big move by Gemini and Marcus Matrix! This could be a new life champion right here! Oh my god! Matrix takes out at two! Oh my god, Nick Gemini almost became the life champion right there! Matrix out planned for Gemini, has him in the corner here. Matrix 
Kings now. Cause how can get out of the way? King says, okay. Shotgun drop kick. He calls it the snapshot drop kick. And then Tyler Kings finally nailed reverse DDT into Marcus Matrix. What was Matrix thinking? I think Matrix doesn't think sometimes. Kings plunge! Kings plunge by Tyler King now on the Marcus Matrix. One! Oh, and Nick Gemini able to get to his feet. He was able to see what happened there, able to break it up. Very smart of Nick Gemini right there. Gemini now with a big kick on the Tyler King. Oh! And my guess Nate Matrix nails his own big kick on a Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini's in a bad way right now. And Marcus Matrix looking for the walk of shame. Nails it on Nick Gemini, that walk of shame. This very well could be a new champion. Marcus Matrix with Tyler King on his feet. And I don't think we're gonna have a new champion, no we're not. Tyler King now. Goes right back, suplex. But Matrix able to reverse into a Bulldog. Very nice by Marcus Matrix. Nick Gemini though, back up to his feet. Rolling neck breaker onto Marcus Matrix by Nick Gemini. Gemini now, Irish from Tyler King into the corner. Oh, and Matrix a big form on Tyler King, on Nick Gemini. Three big, so two big forms and a sling blade by Matrix on a Gemini. And Tyler King now, Working over the leg of Marcus Matrix. Very smart at Tyler King. Working over the leg while Gemini is down. Tyler King looking to crown Marcus Matrix right here. I believe Tyler King is looking to crown Marcus Matrix. Nails him, crowns him, crowns him. Nick Gemini though trying to steal the cover. I don't think this is gonna work. Tyler King right there to break it right up. King now telling Gemini, what are you doing? Irish whip by King on a Gemini. Knocks down Marcus Matrix once again. Tyler King. Oh! No disqualifications in a triple threat match. Tyler King remembers that. Gemini, oh! Nails a springboard! Oh my god, but he also crashes and burns at the same time. And took a lot out of Dick Gemini to nail that springboard. 450 splash. Tyler King now. Oh my god, a powerbomb onto the knees. Like a, almost like a lung blower by Tyler King on the Marcus Matrix. Gemini up to his feet though and breaks it up in two. Triple threat match, live championship. Any one of these men could very well be the live champion after this matchup. King knocks down. Gemini knocks down King. Marjorie Matrix knocks down Gemini. King back up to his feet. Overhead suplex on the Nick Gemini. Marcus Matrix now, he's on fire, Michinoku driver on the Tyler King. Marcus Matrix knocks down both men. Marcus Matrix. Oh, Tyler King on the nail, back body drop on the Marcus Matrix. Tyler King now has Matrix down, Matrix him back up to his feet. Nick Gemini back up to his feet. Nick Gemini nails a Russian leg sweep on the Marcus Matrix. Nick Gemini now, what's he got planned for here? Indian Deathlock! Indian Deathlock by Nick Gemini! And Tyler King breaks it up. Nick Gemini now, schoolboy into a kick. We seen him use this earlier. Tyler King now, up to his feet. Breaks up the cover that Gemini was going for on Marcus Matrix. Nick Gemini now with a kick on the Tyler King, oh, Asai DDT with the cover, dipped, Gemini 2, no, oh, Gemini almost became the new life champion, Marcus, Tyler King somehow kicked out a 2, Tyler King somehow kicked out a 2, Tyler King now, when is it on one knee, Marcus Matrix with the walk of shame, walk of shame, on the, Tyler King, Matrix, oh my god, Gemini breaks up the cover, what a match, what a match, champion after this one. Irish with by Tyler King on a big Gemini. Big splash in the corner. Oh, but Gemini 
Samurai gets up, nails a big kick on the Matrix. And then nails a big tire suplex to the fridge. On the tag King, two, three, no, Marcus breaks it. Marcus Matrix breaks it up in the nick of time. I can't believe it. Big Gemini almost became the new live champion right there. What a triple threat match. What a triple threat match. Tyler King reverse DDT on a Marcus Matrix. Snap here by Gemini on the King. Big kick to the back. That soccer kick right to the back. Gemini now springboard 450. This time nails all of it on the Tyler King. And wait a second though. As soon as Gemini was going for some kind of move, Tyler King back up to his feet. Nails a clothesline. Tyler King now goes behind Matrix. No, Matrix reverses. Matrix the big kick behind King now. Gemini back up to his feet though. And all these men just assaulting each other in any way possible. And Matrix gets the worst of it. Big Gemini now. Another big kick to the back of Marcus Matrix's head. Big Tyler King now picks up Matrix after that. Big Gemini though fighting for that like, kick to King. All these men fighting once again. Doing whatever they can to become the live champion. Marcus Matrix with a big fireman's carry into a kick. Tyler King though grabs Matrix after that huge move. Tyler King got our oh, shoulder breaker. And Tyler King now has Gemini in a bad way here. Going for a shin breaker, nails it. Nails that big shin breaker. Gemini's down, King kicking him while he's down. Oh, wait a second, Gemini though, able to somehow fight King off. But Tyler King, able to nail the shoulder bigger of his own on to Nick Gemini. Triple threat match continues. Matrix back up to his feet. Matrix now picking up Gemini. King going to the top rope. What's King up land here? Walker Shane by Marcus Matrix and Nick Gemini nails it. The Walker Shane. King gets off the top rope very smartly. Matrix goes for a cover. I don't think he's going to get the win with King right here. Does not do so. Don't forget, six-man battle royal. Women's championship finals all taking place after this one. Tyler King with a heck of a rip breaker on the Marcus Matrix. Tyler King now looking for the King's Flunge. King's Flunge on the Nick Gemini. This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Tyler King. Oh, my God. Just tosses Nick Gemini's head to the ring mat. Wait a second. Behind him, Marcus Matrix nails a Russian leg sweep. Marcus Matrix now. Matrix going to the outside of the ring. Matrix going to the top rope. What's he got planned here? Marcus Matrix. And oh, Nick Gemini rolls out of the way. That's very smart of Nick Gemini. Oh, wait a second. Tyler King with a Kamara lock. Tyler King with a Kamara lock. Tyler King with a Kamara. Will Nick Gemini tap out? Nick Gemini able to fight his way out of that Kamara lock somehow. What a Tyler King's signature maneuvers is that Kamara lock. Wait a second. Matrix has King. Nails him with a big move right there. Wait, Nick Gemini back up to his feet now. Nick Gemini knocks down Matrix. Nick Gemini says this match is under his way. Nick Gemini telling Matrix to get up. What's he got planned for? Nick Gemini, a side DDT once again. Space rocket launch off. Two, three. Nick Gemini is the new live champion. Nick Gemini has just became the live champion in undisputed wrestling. What a hard fought contest from all three of these men. Nick Gemini is the live champion officially in undisputed wrestling. Nick Gemini steals one. Some people would say Tyler King does not get pinned to lose his live championship here tonight. But Nick Gemini is the new live champion with a huge space rocket launch off on to Marcus Matrix. Becomes 
the live champion, Nick Gerenai, very proud of himself here tonight. Nick and Denise Parkinson win the women's championship here now. And will it be a big win, a big... On this video wrestling, the following women's championship match is the final in the championship tournament. And is for the undisputed women's world championship. Making her way to the ring from Denver, Colorado, Denise. The undisputed wrestling women's championship, the women's world championship here on the line, right here, right now. Denise Parkinson has been victorious against Monica Scar. She's also been victorious tonight against Pranvera Bagali. Denise Parkinson's one win away against Gail, one win away from winning the Women's Championship. Will she do it against Gail Anderson? Gail Anderson, who was victorious when she dominated Sasha Black Girls in the second round and defeated Alexandra Maria in the War of Words in the first round. Gail Anderson very well could be doing what she said she's gonna do, becoming the very first ever Women's Champion on Disputed Wrestling. And from Rutherford, New Jersey, the X Factor. Gail Anderson, one win away from becoming the very first ever women's champion in Honest Food Wrestling. Something that she has said she is going to do. The Monster Camp has already said they have a place at the camp for the women's championship on their mantle alongside the North American championship. Her brother, Monster Messiah, has got to be watching this one very closely. Monster Messiah, the North American champion, very well could be bringing home with his sister, Gail Anderson, the women's championship, very first ever women's champion. Also, we're about to find out. Denise Parkinson, Gail Anderson, two women who have yet to lose a match here in Undisputed Wrestling, about to lose a match here, one of them. The other one, about to become the women's champion of the world, Undisputed Wrestling, women's world championship, Denise Parkinson, Gail Anderson. And this match is underway. Women's Championship matchup. Denise Parkinson right away nailing a suplex on a Gail Anderson. Denise Parkinson now. Denise Parkinson quickly trying to steal one. Parkinson trying to steal one. Parkinson trying to steal one. They're feeling the ropes, but Gail Anderson says no. And Denise Parkinson doing whatever she needs to do to become the women's champion. And some would say you don't blame her. I would like to see these women fight fair, but I guess fair is already out the window in the opening part of this contest. Gail Anderson whipping Denise Partisan right back in the ring. Denise Partisan trying to, trying to fight off here. And, now, and Gail Anderson just a house of fire right now against Denise Partisan. Three big clotheslines. Going for the cover here. And Denise Partisan kicks out a two. Both these women already wrestling two matches here earlier tonight. Denise Parkinson, oh, gets nailed with that, with that rolling cutter by Gail Anderson. Gail Anderson now going for the cover after the rolling cutter. Rolling cutter, we have a new women's champion. Her name is Gail Anderson. Are you kidding me? That quickly, that quickly. Look at Denise Parkinson, quickly trying to steal one. And the Monster Camp has officially won two championships. As you see in the replays, the rolling cutter by, uh, by Gail Anderson has officially won her, the Women's Championship, after three matches. After three long, hard-fought matches. Here's your winner and new W, the X Factor. Gail Anderson has officially become the very first ever women's champion here in Undisputed Wrestling, and she has earned it. Gail Anderson, she said she would accomplish it, and she has very well done so. Monster Messiah, Gail Anderson, the Monster Camp, has won two championships. At El Novano. Number one contenders, 
six man battle royal over the top rope. Number one contenders for the North American Championship. The winner of this match will take on Monster Messiah, Robert Masha Monaco, the undisputed North American Champion at UW4. Making his way down the ring right now, the Brick House, Chris Snyder. Chris Snyder already had a North American Championship match, wasn't the very first ever North American Championship match against Monster Messiah last week on Victorious. He wants to win this match up here tonight to get a second shot at Monster Messiah. And man, those two have a blood feud, everybody. And I'm talking blood feud. Such a bad feud that Mexico actually banned them from the country because they wouldn't stop fighting each other. That's how bad of a feud, a hatred, that Monster Messiah and Chris Snyder have. So Chris Snyder looking to win this North American Championship Battle Royal. Five other men will be looking to stop him though. Chris Snyder, the brick house, the powerhouse, a member of the industry with the World Heavyweight Champion, Joe Omega. The industry says it's nothing but a matter of time until they win both major singles championships here and even the honest Street tag. As here comes the diabolical one, Connor James, and him and Chris Snyder are loosely affiliated with each other. A former tag team called Not Safe for Work, NSFW, Connor James and Chris Snyder. These two men, still good friends, could still very well even be a tag team for all I know. The diabolical Connor James almost became the live champion on the very first show. He defeated, he defeated Biff Andreas. He defeated Mike Ballander, but he was unable to defeat Tyler King in the finals to win the live championship at UW1. Connor James here at UW3 says he is planning on nothing but being victorious and diabolical. Connor James, one, one of many men in this matchup. I know he can't be too happy with the loss that he just seen Sasha Blackrose take. I know him and Sasha Blackrose are very good friends. Maybe this will be a little bit more inspiration for Connor James to be a little bit more evil, a little bit more diabolical in this six man battle royal over the top rope. I know from experience calling Connor James matches. He has an advantage in these battle royals. He wins a lot of them. I can't say why, but he does. As here comes Evan O'Shea making his undisputed wrestling debut here tonight. Evan O'Shea, one of many CAW legends, veterans here on the undisputed wrestling roster. Evan O'Shea, just recently a former Maple Leaf champion in North American League Wrestling. Evan O'Shea, very well, could make his way, could very well compete against Monster Messiah and win that North American Championship. A man of his stature is always a dog in a fight, he says. Evan O'Shea is not a big man, but he's a man with a lot of heart and a lot of fight. Gonna need a lot of heart and a lot of fight in this matchup here tonight. Evan O'Shea, fan favorite. You can tell fans absolutely love Evan O'Shea. Would be a shame if this man sold out. As here comes a man we just seen on Victorious last week against Joe Omega for the Undisputed Championship. Extreme Tony, Extreme Tony looking to bounce back. The Playmaker. I know he was consulting Tanny earlier. Tanny was on Victorious, his girlfriend, in the first round thanks to a Thanks to a, a pre-match assault by Sasha Blackrose, Connor James, she told, he, he said earlier that, that he was the one who told Sasha to do it. I know Extreme Tony and Connor James are going to be looking to battle each other here in the six-man battle royal. Don't forget, when the women fight, so do the men. Extreme Tony, the playmaker. I know he's not too happy with the loss against Joe Omega. Last week, looking to bounce back here in Undisputed Wrestling. 
The playmaker Extreme Tony always a threat in any match he's in. And here comes a guy who was victorious. Alan Olvano, who was victorious last week. He defeated the jam session, him and Billy DeBowers. Alan Olvano now in his very first ever singles matchup has a chance to prove to the Honest Freedom Wrestling fans and crowd what he can do in singles action. We all know what he can do in singles action. A decorated champion in a lot of organizations, a former ska hardcore champion, superstars of call, that legendary CAW organization. Straight edge as they come, El Noveno. Big opportunity for all these men. El Noveno in the ring. We only get the entrance of one more man making his way down the ring. And that is LaMarcus Carter. Another friend I gotta mention of Connor James. They were a former tag team called Cash Corporation. I don't know if that's gonna come in any playable favor to Connor James. But I like to always mention the history between those men. LaMarcus Carter, also on WEDF NXT, a former new WWE United States Champion, a former WWE Intercontinental Champion is LaMarcus Carter. Has won championships in World Car Wrestling. Marcus Carter is looking to revamp his car career here in 2021. And Marcus Carter is always a threat. Six man battle royal. About to start. Winning man will take on Monster Messiah, Robert Master Monaco, by UW4. Connor James, Evan O'Shea locking up. Chris Snyder and Elmo Vano, Extreme Tony. Marcus Carter. Let's hear the predictions in the chat room on twitch.tv slash jangjackpotcaw. If you're not watching live on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, that is, the, that is the link to watch live on Twitch. Predictions on who you guys are going to think to the win in the chat there. A live chat always going on. Honest Food Wrestling, twitch.tv, where the shows are live. Battle Royal over the top rope rules here. Marcus Carter in a bad way. No, this is, gets back in the ring. Chris Snyder trying to toss out El Noveno. El Noveno just barely hanging out against the brick house, but does. Some would say a guy like Chris Snyder has an advantage in this match, and some would say a guy like Chris Snyder doesn't have an advantage in this match. El Noveno going to toss him over the top rope. Will he be able to hang on to Chris Snyder? Actually, he doesn't. And as I mentioned, bigger events because of how Hunter Connor holding onto the ropes. Chris Snyder will not be meeting Monster Messiah next week. Big elimination for El Noveno. A big elimination in this match for everybody, I would say. Not having to deal with the Brickhouse Chris Snyder is always going to be an advantage because that guy is a deadly threat. I've seen that guy attack referees. I've seen that guy attack opponents. I've seen him at Monster Messiah get banned from Mexico. It's just a lot. And that's in parking lots, that's in, that's in his random streets, that's anywhere. Extreme Tony looking to toss out LaMarcus Carter. Don't forget the winning Madness matchup will be the number one contender for the North American Championship there next week at UW4. Connor James. He's been a new look at Honest Peter Wrestling since the very first time we've seen him. Wearing jeans now. Austin got his hands taped up like he's looking for a street fight almost. Now it looks like that former Cash Corporation alliance doesn't mean anything to LaMarcus Carter as he nails a huge bicycle kick out of Connor James. Evan O'Shea and El Mobano battling each other. That would be an interesting match between those two men. I'd love to see that. Evan O'Shea and El Mobano one on one someday. Prepare me in the back on his feet of wrestling bookers. Five men left in this match. The only man eliminated in the Brick House Chris Snyder so far. Evan O'Shea against the ropes here. Connor James looking to toss him out. Evan O'Shea in a bad way. All oh, but able to fight off Connor James. Able to stay in this matchup. And Evan O'Shea now tossing out Connor James. I mean, Connor James with Connor James staying on the ring apron. Evan O'Shea trying to toss him out, but Connor James able to fight his way back in the ring. Six man battle royal. And 
double suplex out of Connor James by Evan O'Shea and Lamarcus Carter. And those two men have been known to be friends in CAW. Connor James. Actually, I don't know. Am I wrong? I might be wrong on that one about Lamarcus Carter and Evan O'Shea. A lot of history between the guys. No notes in front of me. Connor James in a bad way against Evan O'Shea. These guys are trying to eliminate each other nonstop here, it looks like. A little war breaking out between Evan O'Shea and Connor James. As I mentioned earlier, Connor James can't be too happy. Sasha Blackrose eliminated from the Women's Championship Tournament. Extreme Tony can't be too happy. We've seen Tammy eliminated from the Women's Championship Tournament also. Six man battle royal, only five men left. Lamarcus Carter, oh, Falcon Arrow right on to Evan O'Shea, and then a double team maneuver by Extreme Tony on Evan and Evan O'Shea on to El Novano. El Novano is in a bad way now. Novano able to reverse an Irish whip by Extreme Tony, though. The man who challenged Joe Omega last week for the Undisputed Championship is in a very bad way right now. Brainbuster, X marks the spot, whatever you want to call it. Evan O'Shea with that soul renaissance buster. I can't remember what he calls it. Big finishing maneuver by Evan O'Shea. Big kick now by O'Shea on Lamarcus Carter. He's got to be in a bad way. Carter's got to be really. Carter James, though, tries to take advantage of O'Shea when he's not looking. Tosses over the top rope. Lamarcus Carter and Connor James now. Almost a cap, almost a cash corporation to you. He tosses out. Evan O'Shea, O'Shea can't believe it. Now Connor James, Lamarcus Carter immediately. Cash Corporation reunion breaks up. Connor James working over Lamarcus Carter. And oh my God, Connor able to reverse. Connor able to reverse. Connor James wants to get able to fight out of that corner. Lamarcus Carter, only four men left. Only one of these men are going to become the number one contender for the North American Championship against Chris Snyder. Extreme Tony, cross out Connor James. Connor James able to hang on once again, but Tony this time nails him with a running shoulder block. Now oh, man, with a super kick out of Carter, and just like that, Cash Corporation, you could say, is eliminated. Al Novano now, Extreme Tony, the only two men left in this contest. Al Novano trying to work over Extreme Tony. Can Al Novano become the number one contender for Monster Messiah's North American Championship here? El Novano tosses out Tony, and no, Tony hangs on. El Novano can't believe it. Over the top rope rules, only these two men left. Extreme Tony, El Novano. Extreme Tony tosses out El Novano. El Novano hangs on. Tony, though, trying to toss out El Novano.